Now to a story you'll only see on Local 10 News. A server at Denny's taking a very dangerous ride. He jumped on the hood of a moving car after his customers left the restaurant without paying their bill. And Local 10's Roy Ramos live now with more on this shocking video. Roy. Calvin, unfortunately that server wasn't seriously injured. As for the driver, well, how do you turn a $48 tab into a $10,000 one? Well, you run out on your check, you use your vehicle as a weapon, and then you get arrested. Bro, he, they got him on the car. Screams coming from a Denny's employee seen clinging to the hood of a car. It all captured on cell phone video by customers as the driver is seen speeding through a parking lot, weaving back and forth, eventually throwing the victim to the ground. Oh my God, bro. Margate police tell me it was at this Denny's restaurant off State Road 7 near Atlantic Boulevard in Margate where two customers dined, but when it came time to pay their $47.84 tab, they dashed. The arrest report I obtained, it states the Denny's employees stood in front of their car in an attempt to stop them from leaving when they sped off with their waiter bro, on the hood on the of their car. vehicle. This job ain't worth this Bro. Margate police arrived to find the victim with severe scrapes to his knee and elbow, and while the driver made his getaway that morning, he wouldn't get far. Keith uh, Haberfield. 18-year-old Keith Haberfield later tracked down to his home in Margate and arrested. You're charged with uh, aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. While we learn this is Haberfield's first arrest, it's likely trying to skip the tab on a grand slam that landed this team in the slammer. When you do bond out, sir, no return to Denny's. And Haberfield has since posted his $10,000 bond. That video that you saw right there now at the center of an investigation and Margate police say that they are likely to make another arrest in the near future. As for Denny's, well, we have reached out to them to find out what their policy is with their employees who find themselves in a similar situation. We are still waiting to hear back. For now in Margate, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News. That was a brave move.